What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bass and Prodigy. Now today I have another how-to video on today's video is going to be how to tie the triangle knot. Now the triangle knot is really strong. Now I know in a previous video I mentioned that I only use the polymer knot. Well I use the polymer knot for pretty much everything but the exception is when I'm using a spinner bait or a big bait that I don't really want to use a polymer knot because a polymer knot you have to ha get a big loop like this loop it around your whole hook or your whole bait. So the triangle knot is a knot that I use for bigger baits, like let's say a big glide bait or like um, um a spinner bait with that big wire on it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, um, and also, I also want to say that I'm going to, starting today, I'm having a new upload schedule. I will now only be uploading Saturdays and Sundays. So make sure to turn on your notifications for the my videos that will be coming Saturday and Sunday. And I also want to thank you guys for 18 subscribers. I know it sounds kind of weird to say that. It's very little people. But the channel has been growing very quickly recently. And I'd like to thank all of you. And I'd like to keep telling you guys to share and to keep pushing. Let's. My next goal is going to be, let's just say, let's just get to 20. And then we can start bumping it up from there. But all right, guys, let's start this knot. The first thing that you're going to want to do is take your line and put it through one end of the hook like this. And then you're going to want to stick your finger in that loop like that. And this line, the tag in, you're going to want to put it back through the same side of the hook you put it in to begin with. And then, then you have this little loop right there. I hooked myself back. And all right, guys, then you have this little loop that you're going to stick your finger in and kind of tighten it up on you. Then what you're going to want to do is take the tag in and put it right next to that one. Now what that's going to do is it's going to make two loops around the hook, which is going to make it extra strong. Next up is you're going to take this tag in and wrap it around six times. Now, if you have between like 10 and like 17 pounds, like loop line you're going to want to do six rep but let's say you have like a big leader line like a 20 pound leader you're only going to want to do like um let's say four or five reps so you're going to do six reps right now that's one two three four five six then guys you're going to want to open this loop up take your finger out and put that line through both of the loops and make sure it's going through both of the loops or else it's not going to work. And make sure that you grab your tag end. And then you're going to want to lubricate your knot before you cinch it down. It's always good to lubricate your knot before so that when you cinch it down, it's nice and good. And as you can see, guys, all those knots came down to form a little barrel. And as you can see, guys, we have the two lines wrapped around the shank of the eye of the hook to make that extra strong bondage. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your clippers or scissors or whatever and just clip the tag end just like that. And also forgive me guys if the camera kind of shakes a little bit. I am using my chest mount to do this. Um, so yeah guys, that is the triangle knot. Really strong. Like I said, I use this for my spinner baits. Or my big glide bait, some a bait that's really big that I don't want to put that whole entire polymer loop around. So yeah, guys, that is how you do the knot. And I hope this video was educational for you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next um, episode of Bass and Prodigy. As always, guys, be happy, stay positive, and go catch some fish. Peace.